Hi there, my name is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. I'm extremely grateful to have over 80,000 students learning Microsoft Azure and other topics from me. In this video, it's a quick start. We're going to be creating an Azure SQL database, and I'm going to show you how to do that using the Azure portal. Let's switch over to portal.azure.com. I'll close this out. If I go into the dashboard, go up to the plus sign is when I create new resources. Now it just so happens that SQL database is one of the most popular services and it's there under the getting started. It's the fourth one down. I can also go down to the databases category and see all sorts of databases that I can be using, including warehouses, MySQL, PostgreSQL. We'll get into these in other videos, but this one we're focusing on the SQL Azure SQL database. When I click it, I see a single settings tab. I have to give it a name, so I'm going to call it AZSJD SQL DB. That's a good enough name. The subscription is going to be whatever your subscription is. So if you have a free subscription or an MSDN subscription or a corporate subscription, that'll come up here. I'm going to use my pay as you go. You are to either create a new resource group or you can put it in an existing resource group. The resource group is a grouping that allows you to create multiple resources in a single, almost like a folder structure. And then you can delete them all or you can run reports on that in terms of pricing. I can select to have a sample database, a blank database, or even import a backup if I have a SQL Server image that I can import. I'm going to leave that as blank. Now the SQL Server comes in two parts. There is the database and there is the server. Uh, so we've just created our first database, but we have to have a server to put it on. So I click the server and I don't have one I have to create. So this is going to be azsjd SQL Server .database .windows .net. So you see here a fully qualified domain name of a server that I can then access. I have to create a user ID and password. This becomes the administrator user ID and password for logging in to SQL Server. The location will be in East US 2. You can choose from any one of Microsoft's locations that support Azure SQL Database, which should be almost all of them at this point. Everything from Europe, United States, Japan, Korea, Canada, even Brazil. So I'm going to click okay for that. So now I have a server to run my database on. Do I want to put this database into a pool? A pool of databases share resources. So if I had two or more databases and I, I wanted them to not have excess resources, they could share resources. I could potentially save some money on having them share resources. I'll say no. I do have pricing options. The SQL database comes in three flavors, basic, standard, and premium. The basic flavor is, is extremely simple. It's you get five database units that costing currently $6 Canadian a month or $5 Canadian, $5 US a month. If I upgrade to the standard plan, then I can get double the space, a 10 DTU plan for $18 a month. I can get 10 times the space from the basic plan for $91 a month, or even if I go to the 800 plan, we're up to $720 a month. So you'll see here the pricing runs from, from $20 up to $2,700 in the standard plan. These numbers represent computing power. So the 10 D2 plan is the, is the lowest for standard. 20 is the next up and it's twice as powerful. 100 is 10 times as powerful as a, as a 10 because uh, 100 is 10 times 10. The premium plan uh, runs some of the same units as standard, but you get other features. It's more um, got higher availability. Microsoft puts, I guess, extra effort into making sure that this database never goes down, but it's quite a lot more expensive than your standard plan. So for the same like 100 DT, 125 DTUs, it's $565 versus your 100 DTUs for $180. So you see it's around three times more expensive 
for roughly the same amount. I am just going to create the basic plan. So I've got everything that I need here. I'm going to click pin to dashboard so I can see it uh, start up. This is going to take a few minutes to create. It's empty, so it should be, shouldn't take that long, but it's going to create a couple minutes to create the server and then to create me an empty database inside of that. Uh, we'll look at that when that's done. So there it is. The SQL database got created. That didn't take too long. We can see here that Microsoft is making some suggestions in terms of encryption, tuning, etc. But the database did get created. If I go into, this is the database. If we go into the server, clicking the server, we can see at the server level that this server contains one database. It's important to keep in mind that you can create multiple databases under the same server, but you'll be charged each of them individually. And if you were to then pool them together and put them into an elastic pool by saying new pool, then you would be charged for the pool and not for the individual databases. So that's how you create an Azure SQL database using the Azure portal.